why do you think that your relationship is broken? Is it because you don't satisfy her well in bed? Is it because you don't give her the money she deserves? You don't give her the respect when you guys you actually tell yourself you give her everything? That's not the reason. Hey guys, welcome to a glass of truth with sugar. Call me Dulo. Call me Dulo. Guys, do you know why most relationships or most marriages break up? Do you know why they fail? All right, let me come to to this. I was talking to a girl. She's been married for I like I'm a youth now, so I usually talk to youth. She's been married for she's this is the third year, three years now, and she tells me she's good with her husband. Everything is fine. I asked her one thing: Why do you feel most marriages fail? Because I feel like there's a lot of people who haven't let go of their ex. There's a lot of people who, may, who maybe they got married to their husband to prepare some people. Because it's twenty first century, we never understand which any the the genes is that we the millennials. <laughs> you know when I say we the millennials is my best part. We the millennials we've we've actually been in between. We've been where because now we be the end of this, this era for millennials we enter Gen Z's, right? So we don't see love, we don't see survival, we don't see stress, we don't see you know where you grow up in a family and you see you didn't get love, you get what people just surviving, trying to fend. And see that the kids are good. Nobody told you they just see Gen Z, they woke up bed. But the call begins, I love you. Call your mommy not tells I love you. You go first laugh. You say, okay. Go on and wait. Like the beginning and they tell mommy, I love you. Mommy said I love you too. So you see the difference, right? I asked her, what what makes you and your guy happy? What keeps you and him together? Is it money? Is it she said it's not money? It's not money. It's compromise, it's good sex. Listen, it's compromise is good sex, and it's a guy who has a vision. The small money where they get them, um, they don't already know something until they plan up. So it goes. Beautiful girl. So I really look at her and say, I want to know. I want to use our podcast. She said that's that's what most people don't do. Most people don't compromise. Most people don't look at the brighter picture. Draw, writing, drawing plans together, doing things together. It's a family, right? You guys have set up a family. Your man thinks about you. That's your first priority. His first priority is you. Your first priority is your man. But when you guys give birth to children, both of you, now when I took it that beginning, you have a first priority, which is those kids. There's nothing like, I want to prioritize my man before my kids. No. You prioritize your man first. Your man prioritizes you first. When you start a family, you are priority one or two. Na joint priority now on a picking up. The first way they want to hit on a picking up. Whether these kids are using or something. So it's a, it's a joint thing. It's not you start saying choose between me and the kids. You can never choose between your, your, your husband and your kids. As if the dogs are not hit. You can never choose between your husband and your kids. Beginning, I don't know when I ever see when get your born for bad really my joy, my peace, my happiness. Why do you think they say that? <laughs> you know, you go through pain and you feel like you've brought so you bring some person for the world you ask Namuna bring it forth. And you don't want to make that person your priority. Why on a bunny? So there's usually a debate. Choose between me and your, yeah, 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 yeah. My the kids and your husband. Choose between the kids and your wife. No. When you guys were just two of you, your wife or your husband, he was your priority. You were his priority. Were his priority. Now you guys are having a family. It's a joint priority. One or two priorities don't come out come be now one priority you guys are talking about kids the only thing that is supposed to matter now is my kids my husband my kids my wife our kids my be our kids you get it so at a certain point in time when she spoke uh, i saw a lot of things from somebody who's who's young she's just 27 she's 28 and i was i was happy i was smiling i asked is there a reason why people get divorced this is where this video is going to start now Divorce, or stress, or anxiety, or pressure, or depression. It's a stage. That's when you start starts most more. You start get like you lose yourself. It's when you have unexplained, unexplained expectations. There's there's a man you get married to. He's good in bed. He's he does this and that. You start saying every day at the chop now one chop every. You know you belong decide now. Decision will love not eventual. And you start bringing mistakes. You start bringing things because you watch a lot of movies. 
you watch a lot of things so your expectations start growing people have expectations that changes expectations that grow expectations that you just tell yourself i needed this so i feel like at this point in time it's supposed to come but now it is unexplained normal relationship i know people forget that i mean this i talk for you it is unexplained how do you have expectations where you don't explain them and you expect somebody to listen for, to your inner thoughts so what happens now is they start getting confused they start going front and back beef quarry kosh and she tells she told me this and i was very very happy i was i said i didn't get this from this perspective because most marriages you hear the man is not good in bed the woman is not good in bed they, they have spoiled the family i say but then when i talk about it, it's not good it's not good now no this is the watch of him no me now when i be first married so they don't they when i don't break up four years after i don't go beginning i say the man will be now one minute how do we know those information from what the wife comes online and says but you guys were married for over 65 days times five on a 65 days times 11 and i'm married for 11 years today to break up that period of time you'll be using a reason because due to the kind of now we at the beginning of this gen z's we millennials we didn't know about all these things so you'll be satisfied yourself now so you should ask myself why do people break up and come online and be saying all these things but it all boils down to one thing they had unexplained expectations and that's what kills us now half of the relationship is with boya obamenda Bambili, they, they just fool themselves. They have unexplained expectations that when they run tired, they will come and live up. You watch blue film. The one thing people will know about blue film that say that's in an act, you know. No man no go there on top person that 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 60 minutes. Let me count it for you guys. This is let me give you the counting. One second. That 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 one that 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 two that that's in seconds. Then someone will be on you for one hour like that. <laughs> Even you wait, don't I know that? Those things they cut movies, they cut it from angles and angles. Or whether you see the camera that can't even show it up on that part, shooting them. You guys are expecting too much. And when you expect, explain them, say them out. I can't get off of bed and I say my man has stopped dressing the way he used to dress. Yes, he has because he is now having family thinking. Family problem. Oh, family. I like the song. He now has things that are popping in his head. He has things that go on aside just you. That's why I said you guys were two. So you were his priority and he was yours. But now you guys have a joint priority. They are now your priority. Or the people you brought forth are now you people's priority. So when I mind the, 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 the switch or change from dripping and going to parties, maybe you want your, your man to still go to parties because these kids have grown to an, to a, an age where they can take responsibility or they can actually move or do things without unnecessarily having dad or mom talk to or do a lot of things for them that is good explain to him don't sit and when people go to meet a therapist when i say i thought he would change because those kids are grown he doesn't know men are children man begin at begin man begin at men are children we need mommy them which is only woman knows our mommy them that's why a home is never a home without a wife a home is never a home without a wife our mommy them that's why you see a man what i should do it was they run go for your ass go find a woman go she don't so no say no i've come back to my safe heaven my happy place you people we need we you cannot look at this room this is a white room you look at this room i'm asking you something you tell me baby baby can't you read the room i am reading the room this is a white color i cannot look at white color and say it's blue because i'm trying this is white no not be white it's not my white bitch is how can you tell me read the room and i tell you this bitch is blue it's white so we need to be told things. Talk for the man beginning. Then it's not so and so. Unexplained expectations. That's what spoils a lot of relationships. Marriages, boyfriends and girlfriends. And girls, what do you think? Is it true? Is that it? So it's a glass of truth with sugar, clean water, mattress, tomorrow, water, alcohol. Free your mind. Give me suggestions, opinions, points, anything you want you think you need to add under here. And I'm I'm here for you guys. Call me the Nighty Boy, please. So I come on, you call this Nighty for please. We come on if you call him Bero Bero, but I come on Cameroon, you can call it Cameroon. This is a Nighty Boy Sugar, me and my mic, and it's a glass of truth. Ciao, ciao, hasta la vista, hasta luego, hasta mañana. So we meet again, hasta mañana.